Hey, it is Estrella with a reading for the collective. Um, I was trying to figure out what deck to use and these sort of fell violent, violently towards the floor. So some kind of like news, news or information about you. Um, someone from the past, judgment, hearing a calling, someone sort of walking towards you, something that, that's been happening to you over and over and over again, some sort of like jealous, greedy person trying to keep you off balance and something just being over. Um, I feel like it's this Queen of Pentacles, this karmic energy is feeling really bottomed out by a truth and feeling like you are going to get everything and that um, justice is playing out because of your your spiritual strength and that you, your, your patience. Um, but the fact that it came out so, um, it just was really kind of violent the way that it all came out. Okay, so what to know for the collective today? What do we need to know? Wow, that's interesting. That's where I just, wow. Someone's, someone's doing something real hasty. That's what I was getting from the way the other cards kind of, someone could be coming towards you really quickly. Um, there's a tower that's happening because of this, this choice in love or about a contract or agreement. Um, a tower, someone is going through a tower moment. False foundations are falling apart. It's a reality check. It's a major arcana. So it's something that can't be, you know, controlled. Maybe it was in the reverse for a really long time. Now it's just happening. The universe is stepping in and um, it has to do with this agreement. And I love that this deck, how deep is that? It's like we, we choose things based on how we feel inside. We, we have relationships that reflect back to us who we are. It's a mirror. It's uh, as above, so below. It's, um, it's you create your own reality. It's all of those things. It's like the world reflects back at us what we, you know, uh, choose. So we get to see ourselves in the reality that we live in. So that is what some someone who's having this tower is experiencing. They're, they're having to look at themselves. And just, I don't think I'll always get that from this card, but I'm feeling a sense of like narcissism, wanting to jump out of this card, especially with this Knight of Swords here. Hmm. Yeah, the challenge is, is this ending. This is one of those kind of endings that this really hurts. This hurts really bad. This is one of those kind of endings where it's beyond pain. It's a it's like definitely it's like the um grim reaper the emotional grim reaper is here it's it's very intense i feel like this person is you know really having a tough time of it unable to move really um grieving this is really hard for whoever this is Power and death. The problem is this in the subconscious, it's feeling like bad karma. It's like hard to look at for this person. 
that they've it's like you made your bed now you have to sleep in it is what this is and yeah this has to this is just having been creating competition all the time it's like being so so um offensive creating these wars being materialistic and just people not wanting to have anything to do with this anymore it's like This person felt like it wasn't done yet. They felt like it wasn't done yet and like, it feels like unfinished business for them. Um, this, this queen of pentacles is they feel like they were just, they took a little bit of a break is all. And now it's like all of this stuff is happening and but it's because this person doesn't want to do this anymore. And also this queen of pentacles has been doing this to multiple people. And it's all, it's all, it's just all coming back. And, and it's almost like a lot of this person here represents a lot of people walking away. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen that, that movie, the Dorian Gray movie, like the one from the, was it the thirties, forties, fifties, I can't remember, forties <laughs> or fifties, um, it must've been fifties cause I think it's in color, um, is it in color? I have to, I have to figure this out. But this really gives me strong Dorian Gray um, energy where this person is at that like cracking point because they're really seeing, they're dealing with this thing that they've been stuffing down. The false reality, this false reality that they've been creating it's just left them with themselves. And that's like the biggest narcissistic fear. There's no one else to, there's no one left to project onto. And now they have to deal with that broken soul inside that takes courage. But the thing is, is that everybody has to do that. And it's, it's cheating. It's cheating to keep projecting and draining p other people in order to not have to look because everyone has to. So this person is dealing with, this person's angry for sure because I, of these previous cards that I had that all kind of came out violently. Wow, this person in the recent past has been, <clears throat> either been very deceitful been trying to operate in a deceitful way or they've been feeling like they're walking in darkness and everything is very spooky and hard to understand. Um, I'll get clarification on that. Hmm. person has something in mind they've actually put some they they've put some plans into place um and they feel like there's something that's going to unfold for them that feels positive so we'll see what that is this feels like some sort of like news or gossip spying Find out what that is. <sighs> More communication, 
um, dealing either with the truth or some kind of message, um, answers. This is, could be communication, new ideas, new thoughts, new messages, clever ideas. So this feels like plotting. It's like this person is going through a lot of grief and <laughs> they have to look at themselves, but it's really starting to feel like more manipulation is on the way. Because I asked, what does the collective need to know? And if this feels like karmic energy. I, I don't feel like this is the divine masculine. Right, exactly when I said that, we have in the environment, it's like a break from this divine masculine. So I feel like this is the karmic energies. Um, this divine masculine could be unwell or they're just taking a break. It's like a pause. That's right, because this person felt like this break is someone permanently walking away, but it's hard for them to this break is someone per permanently walking away because of what they've done. And the problem is, is that there's this ending. It's hard to, to, it's hard to process this ending. They're afraid of this, this commitment, this 10 of pentacles. Um, like defending defending the end of it and wanting to appear appear successful it's like getting control of it so we've got knight of pentacles it takes this it takes this knight a really long time to arrive and it's something that can be counted on we're dealing with earth and it's slow. It's slow. It's a late arrival, very slow. But once it's there, it can't be um, altered. Usually it doesn't, it, st it stays, it sticks. This is a very committed person or energy. So this, ener this karmic person is concerned about this permanent commitment um, to this like family life or wealth or, um, This Ten of Pentacles is like having it all, kind of getting, being in this bubble above society in some ways too. Not always, but in this case, because it's got this like Six of Wands here and it's like being on top of the world, um, just having it all, the pinnacle of success um, and defending it all. So it's like if this ending is happening, there's a tower moment, this ending is happening. This person, there's a break with this divine masculine. They still feel like they want to defend and get control of it. The outcome is this four of wands. So there's going to be some sort of celebration or union here. Um, I'll find out more about that. This person is really, really concerned about this star energy, which has been really representing this divine feminine a lot, who has got this very cosmic energy, this very hopeful, um, otherworldly, spiritual, dream come true, wishful, earth angel energy. And so this could be trying to replicate it or um, worried about this ascension, this glow up that the divine feminine is having because it's under the deck which is sort of the theme of this whole thing so it's like very focused on the divine feminine even though there's no divine feminine here so yeah I'm feeling rejected about this ending 
and something maybe because this karmic energy knows that the divine masculine is more concerned with the ten of cups than this ten of pentacles that they want which is less based on love it can have love so they have to look at themselves it's a big shake up this ending is happening it's very painful it's hard to look at it's hard to look at themselves let's can tell me about this moon something to do with awareness inspiration feeling left in the dark one more please feeling just emotionally stuck yeah there's something about clarity lack of clarity I don't know if it's something that they were feeling like they were in the dark feeling like they couldn't get themselves out of this is something that they this is a mental trap based on awareness based on consciousness based on consciousness aware consciousness i'll get back to it what is what is going on here they're waiting for they're thinking that something's going to come in for them they can just only wait yeah it's, this is like they can only wait for something to happen here i don't know what it is that they're expecting though what are they what's going on with this page of swords i'm feeling like it's this card and this card so we've got, that's interesting, Knight of Pentacles, Upright, and Knight of Cups, Reversed. A commitment based on, like, some a manipulative commitment. Gossip, spying, manipulative commitment. That's interesting. Very sort of clever, something clever and manipulative. Okay. Ace of Swords. This could be something said with malice or... Ace of Swords. Communication. Someone could be saying it's over or... Some sort of, there's some loss, communication about a loss. I'm going to have to take a step back here. There feels like this karmic energy is stopped. Stopped. Death. Four of swords. Break. No, the answer is no. Having to wait. Like, feeling lost. Like, yeah, they were, like, it's like everything happened while they were sleeping. It's like everything, it's like they drop the ball and everything that's how they feel maybe is everything's out of their control this how are they planning on seven of wanding this lifestyle they're very they're very they want to defend but they're very anxious they don't know how that's why it's in the fear position they don't know how they can defend their position this four of wands some sort of like forgiveness is happening here with this four of wands, which is very 1111 twin card. So there could be a reconciliation here. Um, this karmic energy is not wanting to listen to the call. Feeling very stubborn about, so this is like not accepting that something's over. I think what we need to know is what's going on here in, what the intentions are. Tell me about this what they're the ships they're waiting to come in. Ooh, okay, so Creating some sort of drama. This has to do with like a friendship. Or a connection that's where about two people who can really 
hear, can, can have compassion for one another's feelings. I oftentimes feel this is like a six of cups of this, of this deck. So feeling like they have no control over this sort of connection with these two people that uh, care about one another. And might work together and have things, creating a drama around it. So feeling a choice, feeling really like in the near future, this has to do with like isolating someone and affecting their choice. So that is what's going on here with this page of swords. Being very clever because we've got the knight of pentacles, this deep commitment and this man manipulation, manipulating a commitment with gossip, lies, some sort of clever communication, trying to isolate. I feel like this is trying to isolate the divine mass, get them alone to affect their choice. That's, so if the divine masculine, um, the next time they're alone together, because it feels like there's a break, they're going to try to do, it's like maybe bring on the charm or something like that and make them feel disempowered, disempower this divine masculine to change their trajectory. Because right now it's feeling like with this Ace of Swords, they they really care about this money because this they care, care about this prosperity. We see that here. They care about money here. They care about money here. It's like that. This ending, even as it's concerned with this um, sort of divine counterpart, they only care whether or not this divine counterpart gets the acquisitions, gets the things, gets the status, how it looks. This is about money here. This is about money here. This is about money here. I don't see love. I don't see love anywhere. So that is what this karmic energy cares about. It's outcome. Hmm. Someone took a gamble and lost. Someone is trying to flatter. Someone, there's gonna be some sort of like, something very extreme that happens here in regards to a romance. That's how this outcome is. They really want to get this divine masculine into this cage where they are disempowered using um, old tactics, like maybe romance, some sort of romantic tactics. Something about everything they've done for them or acting more like a damsel in distress could be one of those. Having something to do potentially with something that they were building together. Um, like, we can do this and that together, potentially. Um, just being very assertive about the things um, and the achievements and just, you know, a, you have not given this enough time. Be much, you should be more cautious about what you're doing and honor traditions could also bring up the children and be, you know, we, our group is, uh, you know, you can depend on us and it's that kind of, this is, these are, this has always been the story. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, it's just, you just need to adapt. 
it's like disempowering this person's authentic self. It's playing on groups and organizations, status, um, the power of the group, how things are always done. Um, this is about what I've done for you or what I can get for you or this is what you should give to me. And we still have the capacity to have all of these things. Um, it's pro empty promises. This is about, uh, it's trying to create a sense of enthusiasm about the future and everything that can be. It's very, um, it's all through words. So this is like some heavy, heavy, heavy manipulation to play on sort of these hope, hopes that the divine masculine, um, you know, to try to f make it feel lighthearted and romantic and, but it's all meant to like lead this masculine into a cage that they walk into. They could get out anytime. They're free, but it's just like a mental cage based on tradition and money and riches and organizations. It's all, it's all a uh, mental entrapment. So that is, I think what that's how this karmic energy is thinking in terms of defending themselves. I think that they've done this before. Um, they're going to try to get this masculine alone um, to do that. And um, that's their intentions. Um, I don't feel like it's going to work here. If a masculine were to um, somehow fall back into that, every... This gamble is just going to end in a loss. It's not a good idea. It's all flattery. It's it's to appeal to this masculine's ego. And it's just, it's, it's going to end up with just more regret and drama. Hope that helps. Bye.